Amigos, and we're gonna go fishing on Lake Comandero. Bronze Beads Adventures, one of the best lakes in the world for giant bass. I truly believe there's a bass over 25 pounds in here. I think the next world record is waiting to be caught. There's just not enough fishermen that get down here to come do it. It's a journey. You gotta go to the middle of Mexico, you gotta drive into the mountains, and then you gotta journey down the cliffs and then take one of these little boats out here. We're gonna be doing a lot of Guggen filming this week. The whole crew is not here today, so we're going to wait till tomorrow to start filming today. It is me and Hector. You guys will get to know Hector in this video. Uh, he'll be linked down below. He is one of the pioneers in the gaming industry. He's probably the pioneer, actually. Optic gaming. He happens to love to fish. We've been trying to hook up for like five years to go fishing. He messaged me on Twitter a long, long time ago back when I was a guide, and now we finally get the opportunity. The great thing is he speaks Spanish, and we're gonna have a great time today. Go catch some really good fish, hopefully. No one knows what the bite's really gonna be yet, but we're gonna go figure it out together, and it is time to roll, baby! Woo! Good luck to you. <laughs> See ya, my boat's leaving. <laughs> Jesus! Adios! Chicago. One of my favorite things about this place, the boat ride out. Woo, look at those mountains. trying to fish together for about a decade. Beautiful sunset. Carlos, Wait, our that companion. Is sunset sunrise? That is a sunrise. I got so excited, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> we are here. It is time to dangle. Oh, tangle with the biggest, baby. Ooh. You guys should be excited right now. Go ahead and just smash that like button. Oh, oh, for beautifulness. Oh, don't God. waste no time, smash that like button. Yeah, don't waste any time. We've already had our coffee, our sunrises. We just need a bass. Ooh, man. What's the best lure? Huh. What do you think? Flipping? Jigs? El, uh, el... Oh. We'll get to it. Top water. We'll figure it Top out. Top water. Top water, baby. Ooh, oh, little tangle to start off our dangle. Let the fun begin. We'll get it right. Oh, beautiful first cast. We got some 45 Yuri Banks here, which is good. Starting off with a little chug chug. What's he saying? I need a popper, a smaller one. You need, you need a popper? Okay. Hang on, I got what you need, brother. Again? Mm, no? Oh, he said, he said really good. He was like, he gave me the look like that. That is on fire. Carlos said, uh, no walkie baits. Don't want to walk it. Hold it. Be in. Oh! First fish, little guy. He liked the top water though. Hector, don't get the wrong impression. Hey. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh, got one. Little guy just blasted it. Oh my gosh. 
hook assist here. Alrighty, y'all. Well, we've had uh, about three fish so far. I mean, no, no biggins by any means, but the top water is fun. Said it was. <laughs> hey, look! If you caught a ten pounder on the first cast, you'd be setting yourself up for failure the rest of the trip. So, this is just working it up. You ready now? Yeah. All right. Shh, trying to bird dog my hole, son. Not bad. There's not... I done got him. I'm a bird dog hole. I flushed that quail out of there. We need to go towards the back here. So we need to go t towards the back here. Oh, that was a good one, dude. That was a four or five pounder. See that? So they're going to be spawning in the back. Hey, see, uh, uh, Despacito, slow. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good fish right there. He, as soon as it hit the water, he just. Boom. Oh, this is it right here. I'm going to get caught in that bush. But there's probably going to be a fish to eat it. This one's going to eat mine right now. Oh God, big and big and baby, right in that bush. Oh. oh man. Oh watch this big gun. Oh big baby jumping on a top water. Look at that. Look at that big fish, man. With the top water in its face. Mm. Yeah, baby, Comodero. <laughs> That's my biggest topwater fish of 2019, right there. Mmm. Muy bien. Grande. <sighs> what bam? Topwater. <laughs> we just saw one about this size jump out, miss the topwater, and then I thought they were spawning back here in this pocket. Dude, little ones are hitting. How much is the width? Dude, I don't know. That's probably. That's probably a six pounder right there. Six pounder on the top water. Yeah. So yeah. Great fish to start off. Commandero, <sighs> baby. God too freaking love it. <laughs> okay, you beautiful beast. We'll let you go get a little bit bigger. I love you, baby. See ya. Oh yeah. Slowly gonna take off. Got to love it, baby. Mm. Dude, I was working that slow. Yeah? Very slow. Oh, Despacito. Bigger fish were actually in the back of the cove, which is kind of weird. That's uh, that's a little different. Good, though. I hope they hope the flipping bite turns on. But if they're eating top water, why put it down, you know? Whew. Dude, if big fish are eating top water like that, we could catch a double didge on top. This could happen. Oh, excited. Go ahead and smash it. Smash it for that. Oh, God, just got hammered on a jig, dude. Oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, dude, one just blew up right there on this thing. Oh. Little guy on that saddle there. Come on, get stirred up down there. Oh, God. He, oh my gosh, I worked it into something's mouth and it didn't move. Oh no, no that, no. Come on now. That was a big one. I think I poked him with a hook though. I went to like work it, you know, and wanted, just grabbed it barely. You were still working it? Yeah, and uh, it didn't move. Like it was, it was solid. Like I hit a stick, but it wasn't a stick. Oh boy, aggressive guy there. Wow. I'm a tarpon. Woo! It's got all that testosterone going. We can make some more bass. Little moss. Oh, he got it. Oh, that was the cast, dude. Woo! And the sun comes in. Alrighty, all sun's coming in. Got ourselves some top water fish. I don't know if they're still hit it. Well, the sun coming up, but we will switch to that jig for sure. Oh. Got him. Just gave it the old pause session. K. 
couldn't resist. A little better. A lot of these buck bass. Buck bass up in the shallows. Oh yeah. Yeah, little guy. First jig fish. Yo, I'm gonna put a trench hog on this jig and make it a big old long presentation. You wanna add some? Yeah, oh yeah, we want that dipping glove, baby. Give me, give me that whole tail in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carlos knows what's up. Not a bad start to the day, y'all. We got the monkey off the back. We got a nice six pounder or so on, on top water. And it's, it's nice to see that there are some big fish up shallow. And I've gotten a few jig bites. We gotta dial that in. I'm a little rusty. We're a little cold. Our hands are cold. So we're having to, uh, we get warmed up, but the day's just getting started. It's a good start to the day. I can't ask for, uh, for anything better. Maybe a 10 pound. That'd be better. Make sure your drag's tight. I made that mistake. Doing a little flippy. Flippy time. Go, leap. Oh, yeah. Grab that jig in the tree. Carlos got it. That is a small fish with a big jig and a trench hog in his mouth. God, that was beautiful to watch him swim away with that. That's my first time throwing this trench hog on a jig. It is a huge profile. This 45 degree angle bank, man, that's where the spawners want to be. Oh my gosh, right on the bank. Dude, are you serious? That thing ate it like out of the water, like a top water. That was crazy. No, it's living. Keep it in there with the straight chain hook. And then it'll come right through. Uh, dip it? Oh yeah, you want to dip it. Reach to a stack of goo and milk here. Oh, oh! That's what you call a chartreuse spill there. Woo, baby. All right, well, hey, maybe they'll just swim in the boat and bite our legs now. Go, oh, got it. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, he munched it good. Nice. Mm. Boy there, right? God, I'm ready to bring the pain on something hefty. Oh, there he is. Come on, baby. Be a good one. A little better. Yeah, I got him. I got him. He's all, nah, he's all right. I got him, Carlos. I got him. Yeah, he's skinny. He's like probably two and three quarter. But he was there. And he did. He gave me something juicy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not CGI. That is full-blown chartreuse dip and die. We're trying Straight to catch something. We're trying to catch something with a boat. I mean, well, my man says I didn't do it. Jaws might jump out of the water and just crush it right Look, here. We're not going to say that. We're not going to blame the person. You know what I'm saying? It's just this accident happened. He was dipping my stuff. Just dropped it. It's all good. New spot. The pink trees up in here this this is one of this is probably the most beautiful time. The... Woo! Woo! little midday toppy you got to freaking love the it, days. oh gosh oh my gosh i pulled the rod out of my hand no i don't think so he's just oh i side hooked he side hooked how did he i lassoed him man i did lassoed him throw him back out there like that I, did, I never even uh, felt it, just sw started swimming. So I don't know how he hooked himself. Man, he's got a lot of pee coming out. Oh yeah, I cut him. The braid cut him. Yeah, sorry little guy. Have a little scar, be cool in his school. Be the cool fish in the school. The big ones, when they hit that jig, it's, it's like somebody just smacking the back of your rod. These little secondary points, like, right here behind us and right here yeah. and throw it like pr pretty far out. Cause that brush comes, it's all the way out here. 
There he is. Good. Yeah, that's a head shaker. That's a good. Oh, yeah, the jig, baby. Oh, I got him. I got him, Carlos. I just want to grab his face. Come here, you big rascal. Yeah, baby, get you some. Uh-uh-uh. Oh. I love you, sugar. Sugar beet. Love you. Oh, we even grabbed my hand there. Fantastic. With a few like this, y'all, it is very customary down here to take you a locally brewed beer. This happens to be Pacifico Light, and uh, that is actually brewed in Mazalan, if I'm not mistaken. Sinaloa province, like a county. Crack this cold beer and enjoy this view for a second. And it's a little, it's one of these slow times. We're kind of catching a few here and there. Got me a nice little five ski. This is a five ski sipper right here. Mm-hmm. Cheers to a five pounder. Ah, and many more to the future of this lake. Oh, there's a bite, there's a good bite, jeez. Ooh, that was the first good bite I've had. Where it was like a solid, bam! Slap me another crack and crawl in here. We are out of the chartreuse, folks, so I'm, I'm uh, struggling here to, the chartreuse is important, I promise you. Usually what we do is we'll take like summer craw or uh, watermelon seed there and just slap that baby, the entire thing in chartreuse. Baby Mondos. I know that GoPro footage was really shoddy, so let me just give you the update. That fish is in the live well right now, by the way, so it'll be fine. Started seeing all these fish kind of floating at the surface, these small bass, and then I threw at a tree that was probably in 25 feet of water, and I saw my jig going down, and a fish flashed at it but missed it, and I was like, hmm, they must be suspending. I picked up a, uh, a swim bait, that right there, uh, that guy right there just just got it done. That's a that's a big swim bait um, with a uh, three eighths ounce weight on there. Just going slow on a point, and then and it wasn't really an impressive bite, honestly. It just kind of disappeared, and I caught up to it with braid, and then set the hook, and it had it swallowed really nicely. <sighs> big bass. I love you, sugar. Biggest fish of the trip. Matches my biggest fish on Commodoro. Suck on my dime a little bit. Oh go. What a deep swim away. You know, what a beast you just <laughs> I think we're learning as we go. We're learning things. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I love you, Mexico. That's on a jig. It's a big. It's a big fish on a jig. Not that big, but he's he's big. Oh boy. Get up there and grab that mouth. God dang. Once I grab them, they don't <sighs> they, they just don't calm down. Nice, nice fish on a jig. We're trying a bunch of different stuff. We're trying everything. That that fish just kind of I felt, you know. A little pull and I set the hook and it's a nice five six pounder but now it's time to let him go into the depths see you boy have a good one. get bigger oh man I like when you throw them back and they make those noises on a point right here that is very uh, very distinct oh time for uh, Hector's pro tips now we're fishing points with trees with a big lure. If at first you don't succeed, now I made this up, if at first you don't succeed, you gotta cast up and get up again. We can put that on a shirt for sure. 
Should have been one there. You know what else they should put on a shirt? Smile more. Oh my gosh, yeah. what a wonderful idea. I know, it's a multi-million dollar idea. I am more sunburned than I've been in a, in a long while. Mexico sun will get you. Oh, dude, that was, that looked amazing, the mist coming off. Do it for YouTube, you stupid fish. Do it for YouTube. Look at these rocks. All right, well, my, my camera's done. Let's go eat, yeah? I love the rock formations. Like, uh, like, that is great. so much variety. I mean, if you're a geologist, you're just, you got a major stiffy right now. I'm not a geologist. I'm a fisherman. Fishing freak. I want Hector to catch a, a slaunch doggy. A sunset slaunter. We're gonna take it to the crib. I mean, I know these rocks are beautiful and everything, but uh, we're sunburned, we're out of GoPro batteries and, and cards and everything. It's time to go eat some delicious, I hope it's seafood, and enjoy Mexico. It's been a decent dangle today. We're just getting started. Oh my gosh, that was a bumpy, wet, nasty ride, y'all. It is amazing how it can go from straight up calm to the, the winds coming off the mountains and it just turns into like 20 mile an hour winds and choppy. Look at this though, look at that. Look at this gonna, that's always good when you get a, a big fish, it goes, instead of getting like bass thumb, you get bass palm. Look at that, you know, that is a lot, a lot of, work of chartreuse done on that going boat. on today. <laughs> <laughs> um, your biggest fish? Yeah. Five nine. Sunburn. Five nine. You caught it's big, you caught big one today? Five nine on yeah, yeah. but I had I, I probably asked big how big oh how big yellow was. I lost like I know where everything's at. Would you have it on? Uh, it was I cut everything on a jig. Trips are here. Oh, it's time. You're right. It is time to dig in. Oh shrimps. my gosh. We're still without power, but we got shrimps, baby. Kind of shine my light. Oh, there we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I got it. Got it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. Cheers, me. Right. We got. Margaritas, we have shrimps, we have a flashlight. All the boys are here, so it's good times. Today was a warm up, today was a start of day. We're gonna be doing a lot of Guggen filming the rest of the week, guys, so make sure to go subscribe to the Guggen channel. We'll be doing a lot of challenges and fun things over there. And most of the filming the rest of the week is going to be over there. I'm gonna have a few more videos, try to figure something out, dial something in. I always wanna to come to the lake and I wanna break my PB. I hope that's one of the next videos, but go ahead and subscribe right here. I'll leave the links to the other channels down below and we will see you guys on the next one.